everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Don't throw out your pickle jars, any of your condiment jars. We can vacuum seal these and keep our dry goods. So we can easily seal our regular mason jars with the two-piece lids with no problem. But these jars with the lug lids are a lot more difficult to seal. But using a vacuum canister, you can seal almost any jar that you have. So for our regular mason jars and our one-piece lids, we usually use one of these little jar um, sealers. And these are great and wonderful, but we, a lot of times we get all this stuff from the grocery store with these glass jars. And some of them are too thin to can in, to put in your canner or pressure canner. So, but we don't want to throw these away. Glass, in my opinion, is the best way to store everything. It does take up a bit more space, but I really like glass because I know it's just going to work. And I love glass. So even these like paste jars, your salsa, picante, pickle jars, got some cheese whiz jar here. And this is a mason jar with a one piece lid from the Classico. And these all work. You can use, I have just this regular food canister and it's a vacuum seal canister. They make your food last longer in there because it's vacuum sealed, your fresh food, um, but you got to keep it in the fridge. And also your coffee, stuff like that, it's great for those as well. But if you take your jar, and I'm going to put, we'll start with a mason jar and just a one piece lid. And I just put these on kind of tight, not too tight. And I'm going to stick it in there and we can vacuum seal this. There is a little nozzle on here and you want to get it to seal. And just like your other piece, this comes, uh, the canisters usually come with a little hose for your vacuum sealer. And I'm just going to turn this on. I'm going to press canister and it's just going to suck the air out. Once it stops, just going to pull this top off. And this has an open little thing. And you can hear the can pop when you release the pressure in there. And now your jar is sealed. So we'll give it this jar a try with the Cheese Whiz jar. And you want to make sure that this lid has a rubber ring inside. That is what's going to seal this. And I'm just going to do the same thing that we did with the other jar. You can hear the jar pop again when you're opening it and it is sealed down. So that's it. It's really super simple and easy. Some jars I find need more than one cycle with the suction. You may have to run it two times to get all that air out. But it's this is a great way to store your dry goods. And I mean, these jars are essentially free. Most people are just chucking them out, which is sad. They are super good storage containers. So you can vacuum seal your dry goods in here. You don't have to use oxygen absorbers because you're sucking all that air out of there, which is wonderful. And you are ready to store these bad boys right into the pantry. The only thing is you have to make sure your canister is taller than your jar. That's it. Super simple and easy. That's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.